The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. <laughs> everyone welcome to another vlogmas video so if you joined me yesterday for vlogmas day one you will know that we went shopping yesterday and that was all courtesy of mr price so this video is kindly 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 sponsored by mr price all opinions are my own i don't even feel like i need to make that disclaimer if you know me you know me but if you don't all opinions are my own so i haven't tried on any of the pieces um the bag is still here <laughs> So this is the bag, it is very bulky. There are many, many items in here. Um, I haven't tried on any of the pieces. Once again, if you watched my vlog yesterday, you will know that I did go shopping in store, but I didn't have time to try the pieces on in the fitting room. So I thought it would be perfect for this video where I do like a first impressions, um, rate or hate, trash or splash type video. So I will try on every single piece and give my opinion of the pieces while I'm trying them on. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like the video, make sure to share the video, and make sure to subscribe, please. All of these things will help my video reach more people. I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you are watching this and you look down at the subscriber button and it's not yet on 1,000 subscribers, please subscribe. <laughs> so without wasting any more of your time, I'm going to jump straight into the video. Okay, so first let's start with accessories. I had to hold myself back because the surprise gave me an allowance and I knew that I wanted to do a video, but if it was up to me, I mean, you guys better be glad that this video is not titled Mr. Price Shoe and Bag Haul because I am obsessed with shoes and bags. If you hear noise, the weather has been up and down all day. It's been raining, not raining, mm, so ignore that if you hear the thunder and everything. Sorry about that and if the lighting is going in and out so let's start off with shoes i had to pick up these heels everything i picked up okay i picked up four accessories um but three out of the four accessories i picked them up because i don't have that color in my closet right first of all i think you guys are gonna scream okay maybe i'm being dramatic but i scroll i definitely scroll these heels hello look at this, these heels I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. Like, I just really didn't believe that it was Mr. Price, hey? Um, okay, let's talk about it. I said this was gonna be an honest haul. A lot of people have a lot to say about Mr. Price healed, right? And with reason. I mean, I, I can't sit here and fault them. I can't sit here and pretend that um, they are the most extravagant, most expensive, most top quality designer heels. But I think Mr. Price heard us because um, it says new and improved fit, designed with better padding to give you that extra comfort. A lot of people, oh, it was focusing on the heel. <laughs> a lot of people do complain about um, just the comfort of Mr. Price heels. Of course, they are cute. One thing we can all agree on is that Mr. Price has really, really cute heels. They give us the dupes we want. But a lot of people do complain about the comfort. And yeah, I haven't tried them I mean I tried them on in store but I haven't like worn them and even made an outfit out of them so I'm not gonna have a reaction or impression part for any of the accessories but yeah um, from just looking at them and feeling them I feel like they are definitely much more sturdier than a lot of the heels that I do own by Mr. Price so the next accessory is this ruched shoulder bag um a lot of brands are making this type of shoulder bag um and as i did say surprisingly enough i'm surprised that i'm even saying this i don't have any nude bags i think maybe it's because i use color to accessorize a lot especially with bags as i explained that's maybe why i don't have a nude bag but that's weird but i'm happy that i have one now and i really like it um yeah, I have no nothing bad to say about it. So the next accessory is this yellow bag. Once again, I do not have this color in my collection of bags. Um, it's definitely not the yellow bag, the shade of yellow that I would go out of my way to buy um, as a yellow accessory. 
because it's very pale and once again I like to really use my accessories to like stand out and elevate an outfit so it's a very like pastel yellow but still it's yellow I don't have yellow in my um, collection and I really like the shape of it like this is gorgeous I really like it it's, once again it's an underarm shoulder bag very gorgeous I love this like I really love it the only thing I do not like, which you can probably guess, is the um, chain on it. I just feel like it's not necessary. It's not necessary at all. Like, it's not necessary, hey? It's not necessary. But, but, <laughs> um, I mean, it's like, it can be tucked in. It can be cut. Like, it's not the end of the world. I like the shape of the bag and the color of the bag. And that's what's most important. So, yeah. The last accessory, I haven't been, I realized I haven't been saying the prices of the accessories, but I will start saying the prices in the clothing part. Sorry about that. The last accessory is these pair of hoops. Oh my word, how gorgeous. Like this is so, so pretty. I love, I love it. I love everything about it. I love how there's hoops in hoops, through hoops in one hoop, like, hello. <laughs> I love it. I love the design. I think it's extremely gorgeous. This is giving me, I feel like all I talk about these days is vacation, as if I have somewhere to go, but this is giving me vacation vibes. Like this is something I would wear on vacation. I mean, it also makes a noise, like, <laughs> it's just so nice and it's very like groovy. But besides vacation, like a nice summer afternoon, even a winter earring, this is very nice and dramatic. Um, you could really find many different places to wear this, so love this okay so the next item are these red pants they are um, cargo pants I believe they're from the range project they're in a size 30 and they are 260 Rand so I was really drawn to these pants because not only the color I don't have any red pants in my oh, I'm about to sneeze <laughs> I don't have any red pants in my wardrobe at all i haven't even thought of red pants and that's when i knew that i had to have it because it is a statement the thing that drew me to these pants the most were these tie up um i think are they tie up okay they look like they're buckles i thought they were tie up i'm really into the tie up hem trousers that I, i'm really into that trend because i used to be the type of person that would wear jeans and then tie my heels over the jeans to like create that like you know what I, you guys know what I mean, but yeah, um, I thought that these were tie up, but I think I can still work with it because I like that this has added some character to the trousers because the because they're very boyish with the whole like cargo pants vibe. I would definitely style it um, in a more masculine way. I'm not wearing sneakers. Um, one thing about me, I'm away heels, okay? <laughs> but I need to find a way to like bring out the cargo ness of these pants and like you know make them make them hard make people call me big Ruth. you know <laughs> child i don't deserve to be on this platform i did want to get this in a bigger size this is in size 30. Um, i wanted to get it in like a size 32 or 34 just go a few sizes up because i wanted like a more loose fit and like a more baggy fit but i don't know i i later ended up not doing that so Let's jump into the try-on clip and hear what I have to say about it because I don't know if I like the fit, but in terms of the pants, I can already say right now that I really, really like them. Um, so I kind of love it. <laughs> I absolutely love these pants. Ugh, the vision that I had for these pants is exactly what I'm getting from this outfit I mean the only thing that is kind of irking with this outfit is how long this is and this is in size extra small it's just extremely extremely long on me so if I can find a way to make it still look cute and give off the same asymmetrical vibe by tucking it in you see that doesn't look like as good as I want it to look um, but yeah it's fine I still absolutely love this outfit I as I said it was, it's giving me very much boyish vibes, so I went with dark accessories, um, these black sunglasses, black heels, a black handbag. I went with a mixed metal watch and this extremely chunky, like, 
chain vibe i just wanted something like extremely boyish and then obviously the top that i got from the men's section i'm really enjoying this outfit and one of my favorite details about this outfit specifically the pants are is the buckle tie up thing i did think that it was going to be um lace up tie up but it is a buckle so it hangs on the side but i don't mind that i feel like it adds so much character to the outfit i am chef's kiss i definitely love this outfit speaking about a very masculine fit one thing about me that you should know i will shop in the men's section i will shop in the men's section you guys are missing out on gems in the men's section like if you don't know if you don't know you better get to know so i grabbed this printed short sleeve shirt this it's a very very relaxed fit shirt i've really been wanting one of these shirts but all the prints that i've been finding are very like complicated or very popular like you i don't know but i was happy when i saw this because it can definitely work around perfectly it's black and white i can use color to play with it speaking of which i might as well just pair it with those i might actually pair this with the red pants now that i'm thinking about it um so that might be the try on clip for i might put those two together and that might be a try on clip i don't know yet but it's i'm trying to form something in my head it might be working I don't know if the vision is visioning but yeah i think i think these two would go well together but anyways yeah i really like it got it in a size extra small and it is 150 rand i do feel like this is going to be quite big on me still though um like if this is extra small this is like a medium on me <laughs> um but yeah we'll jump into the try on clip and see what i think about it and see how i style it i really think i'm going to try style it with the red pants though so we'll see <laughs> so another piece that's from the men's section which is something that is consistent for me most of the time when i say i go into the men's section it will be to look for pieces but i'm most probably always grabbing a graphic t-shirt i just i feel like they have the best graphic t-shirts in the men's section for us they're giving us peace love joy they're giving us um pictures of girls with like braids or dreads or an afro or like they're just trying to make it quirky i don't know why brands do that i actually don't know like why use our hair as okay uh, maybe i don't know i don't know i'm gonna get cancelled child <laughs> but um yeah with the men's section they know what they're doing via graphic t-shirts they're always giving us color they're always giving us um fonts to work with like something that's really like has character you know so one of the main reasons why i like graphic t-shirts is because i feel like the character on the t-shirts with the colors and the prints and the pictures and everything is nice to like you is nice to style things with so let's say for example this was a black shirt and all of this was like red and blue and with those red pants i feel like i could have been able to pull from the red and blue and wear my red pants and make it an outfit you know so that's my favorite thing to do with graphic t-shirts and yeah about the top itself i feel like i'm gonna be happy with it i don't think that there's any problem with it i'm very familiar with mr price um graphic t-shirts because i'm constantly buying them i know that my size for men's graphic t-shirts is a medium and this is a hundred brand so let's try it on and see what i think about it so with this outfit i paired it with some leather pants like leggings and these i'm taking them off because i can't see <laughs> and then paired them with this, these yellow shades some yellow heels and this yellow bag from mr price as you can tell very much lazy girl styling i just pulled some yellow from the shirt and went crazy with the accessories um, but i really like the top i mean i didn't think i wouldn't it's a graphic tee the fit is really good um this is something i'd wear for like very last minute vibes maybe like last minute dinner with the girls or something um it's definitely very much edgy and boy with the leather pants i would tie my hair up if i could find a hair tie <laughs> but yeah i'd tie my hair up maybe into a bun and have this like a a very like boy look Boy, is that a word? Like boyish. That's the vibe that I would go for. Um, once again, with 
always heels or sneakers over here i know a lot of people would wear this with sneakers i'd probably wear this with sneakers for like date day um and i mean date day like maybe if we're going bowling or maybe to just go see a movie or something maybe if i had like yellow dunks i'd wear it with this i don't think there's much more to say about the outfit it's very nice yeah let me know what you guys think okay so onto the next item that i have here it is this pink oversized um it's called a boyfriend tee i believe a boyfriend shirt a poplin boyfriend shirt it is also 180 rand and i got it in an extra large so um i shouldn't have used the word oversized because i don't believe that it is oversized i think it is just like a um, poplin shirt maybe it is a bit more relaxed Hence the word boyfriend shirt. Most of the time when, when the word boyfriend is used in fashion terms, it's mostly to talk about relaxed fits, not necessarily super oversized fits. So I saw already with the size small that it wasn't as oversized as I'd like. I also looked at the large size and I was like, no, let me go for the extra large size because I'm trying to go for like a shirt dress. Um, I'll put inspo on the screen of the kind of vibe that I was looking for. Um, pink is in fashion right now and especially the hot pink but when i saw that mr price has this i was like let me grab it um i see what they were trying to do so yeah let's jump into the try on portion and hear what i have to say about it okay so let's talk about this i i don't know if it's that i shouldn't have had the expectations i had i don't even know if it's expectations i feel like it's just like the fact that i I had an idea of this was like inspiration for something i had already seen so let me explain I said i know we all know that pink is in fashion right now one of like the most popular pieces that i saw on some bloggers overseas um, who have already been through summer was this pink that pink oversized top so i don't know if i'm not digging this top because it's not the color like it's it's, it's not bright enough for me it's very like chill and like it's too it's too innocent for me in terms of the color if, 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 if a color can even be innocent yeah it's just like too baby pink i wish it was more like bright because i, I paired it with some green heels and i'm just not feeling it. it's like i don't know I, I i also put some hoops i don't know i'm just really not feeling it like i thought i would be and another thing when trying it on that i think might also be altering my view is the fit obviously i got an extra large for a reason but i feel like i should have gotten it in just a large and maybe the fit would have been better it's, i feel like i'm drowning obviously the large would still be big on me but i feel like something as simple as rolling it up and it's staying would have been much better i don't know so i'm gonna have to say this one is a no from me um yeah it's not nothing to do with the piece if i got it in a smaller size maybe i would have liked it i do like the material of it i, I like everything about the piece itself it's just the fit and my vision not really meshing with the outfit itself yeah, so it's an over on me. Okay, so the next item is another dress and it is in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous print. It has orange, it has yellow, it has pink, it has white. It is a very, very gorgeous dress. I feel like um, this is, I don't even know if I should say print because I don't think it's a print, but uh, a cluster of colors that are trending, that is trending right now. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen these colors used together a lot especially for vacation outfits i need to maybe maybe i'm actually speaking a vacation into existence because wow yeah, i have high hopes for this dress i'm not gonna lie i do have high hopes for this dress i got it in a size extra small and it is 160 rand so let's jump into the try on portion and we'll see what i really think about it okay so this dress is everything it is excuse this part um so at first when I put it on, I actually thought it was going to be too small for me. Um, but all I had to do was adjust the straps because it fits really nicely here. It has like a slit on the side. It's just a very gorgeous dress. It's a slip dress, so 
slips right onto my body. This is dress needs like extremely poofy hair. Um, and I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what vibe this needs, but I really love this dress. I decided to wear the pink Mr. Price heels that I showed you guys and the yellow bag that I also showed you guys. I feel like this dress is so fun because you can pick whatever color from the dress you and style it with that. You can pick the orange, the yellow, um, the pink. It's really, really gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely a yes from me. Okay, next thing that I've grabbed is this pink dress. First of all, first impressions, this is extremely soft. Looking at the texture of the dress, I wouldn't think it would be soft at all. The dress holds shape well, like, it's really a good shaped dress. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, you know when it's, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's very soft, I love the color. The main reason that I got it was because, first of all, it's basic, it's a nice pink girly color, and what I had in mind was date day, To be, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm always looking for something to wear on date day, so I feel like this is perfect, and if I like it, I'm going to grab more in this color because I really like this neckline. It's very flirty, like, gonna show off this part what is the part called the decolletage i think it's gonna show off this part it's gonna be cut nicely i feel like it's a very nice like flirty dress um and it can be dressed up or down like i can use different accessories to dress this up or if i want to dress it down maybe if we're going for like a bowling date or like a golf date or something i can wear sneakers and it would still be very girly and feminine um yeah, so let's jump into the try-on clip and see what I think about it. Okay, so if you watched my last haul, um, there was a similar dress to this um, from a different brand, which you can go check out. I, I liked the dress and I do like this dress, but I, I wasn't really crazy about it because I felt like... Maybe I'm just used to like seamless dresses or dresses with like a thicker material. I'm covering my nips, by the way, because I didn't wear a bra with this dress. Um, yeah, I feel like if you... I feel like maybe I'm used to like thicker materials because you can you can do a whole silhouette and I'll show you how what I mean in the video. Yeah, like I'm not a fan of that. I don't like it. I, I personally don't like it because I feel like if I eat one grain of rice, it will show, you know? So especially because I was really looking forward to this being like a nice day day dress. Um, we go out to eat a lot. One thing about us, we will eat. So I don't know if I'd wear it. I mean, obviously I'm very comfortable in front of my partner, but it's not flattering at all. Like if it's going to be showing every single bone I have in me, if that makes sense. I love the color. It's extremely, extremely, extremely soft. Um, everything is really good about this dress except for the material. Once again, I go girly with the accessories. Um, I chose a purple bag and either pink or black heels. Um, honestly, I, I, I can say that I'll give this dress a yes um, because it's not, a, it's, 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 I can wear it. I could wear it. I think I'd just have to put like some seamless underwear underneath or I don't know what I have to put underneath. Um, I don't, it's not even about the underwear though. I don't know what I'd have to put underneath, but I feel like I can work with it. So I'm not going to give it a no. It's a flattering dress. Very girly, I like it, so it's a yes for me. Okay, let's jump into this dress. So first of all, this color, wow. It was on the, it was, um, this dress was on the mannequin right in the front of the store and I had to have it. So it's a blue maxi dress and it is so stunning. You can't really see it, but it's a baby doll dress, meaning it has like tiers. There's different tiers. I think there's one, two, three different tiers or four different tiers on the dress like tier meaning like i'll spell it here so you know what i mean i really really like this i feel like it's such a nice like sunday even if they were like um uh what is it called a farmer's market dress this is a very wifey dress like i'm not gonna lie this is a very like oof, i don't know like i just feel like it's gonna snatch me and then accentuate my non hips you know and just just flow like i'll be walking and with my long hair and i'll just be it'll look like i'm just gliding that's the vision i have for this dress and i hope i hope that this dress executes it because if that's the case i'm get i didn't see any more colors but 
I would need this in more colors. Um, so let me quickly talk about the sizing. So I didn't find my size in store. I'm guessing it's because it's a hard piece and people want it <laughs> but i didn't find size 30 in which is my size but i got it in size 32 i figured it wouldn't be that bad hopefully it would just be longer which is what i'd want anyway um and it has adjustable straps so if it is like too big for me or on the chest area i could just adjust it or on my arms i could just adjust it so yeah let's jump into the try on clip and see what i think about it okay Let's start with the positives of this dress, right? I love the color on my skin. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. <laughs> so I don't think it's terrible. You guys will let me know. Um, I'll obviously put like a full body clip so you guys can see exactly how it looks. But I don't know if it's because I didn't get it in my size or it's just not like so it's obviously supposed to be tied here well I'm guessing right um, but that's giving me very mom very grandma very it's aging me so I would tie it to the back to like I do this with a lot of my tie up tie up dresses when I don't want to put it in the front I use it to like cinch my waist but it's like when I try to cinch my waist, the whole dress goes cinched in. Does that make sense? Like I want the, I don't know, I don't know if I'm making sense. Like I want the dress to poop out and give like nice summer vibes. Maybe I'm not making sense. Maybe I'm the drama, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I need to like find a way to adjust it or return it, like I don't know. Um, but it might have to just be a no from me. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I really, I really, I was so excited and I had a great vision. I kind of let down, but it's definitely more on my part than the dress's part. As I said, it's not in my size. And yeah, maybe I was just being too overambitious, but it's, I don't know. So the last pieces is in fact a co-ord piece. I mean a co-ord set. So there's two different pieces. It's a blazer set with um, shorts and obviously the blazer. Right off the bat, I am loving the fact that the blazer has um, shoulder pads. I love myself a good blazer. I love blazers so so much. Um, it just gives a different type of energy. Like the girls that get it get it, and the girls that don't don't. <laughs> I've been watching way too much TikTok, but genuinely, like, the girls that get it, get it. They really get it. Like, I love blazers. Um, we, let me not even get some blazers chat, but I love blazers, okay? Um, and then, as I said, it comes with shorts. So I got the blazer in a size super small. The pants are in a size 28, and then the blazer is in a size super small. The consistency, Nyana, like... Okay, anyway, I love the color of this. Love, love, love the color. Like, oof, and I love the fact that it has a belt. Um, yeah, I can't wait to put it on. I can't wait to see how it fits. I feel like I'm gonna really, really like it because it's a blazer set, man. And I can already see myself wearing this differently, maybe with like denim shorts and wearing this, um, maybe like on vacation. Like, here I go again with vacation. Yeah, I go again. But genuinely, like, come on. Come on. You're telling me that this color must go to waste? No. They, like, the tropics need to see this color, okay? <laughs> so yeah, let's jump into the try on clip and see how I feel about it. So upon first look, it is gorgeous. It fits so well. I love the fit of it. I love that it has shoulder pads. I really love the fit of it upon, upon first look notice upon just looking at it right um the shorts as well very very good fit and i really do like them like look at this color on my skin hello and i feel like this would be extremely flattering and gorgeous on many different skin tones but it is not a big deal but it i was taken aback this is the first time i'm noticing it but i don't know if you guys can see but this belt 
Okay, let me take it down so you guys can see. Look how short that belt is. Um, I don't know why it's bothering me so much, but I think it's because I like to really use belts. If there's a belt available on a garment, I'm going to use it to cinch my waist in. Like really give me shape, you know? So there's not much to work with here when it's like, that short I was not expecting that at all and obviously it's not noticeable at all especially if I'm wearing the blazer like this um, but I feel like if I wanted to wear the shorts on their own and maybe make like a vacation look out of it because it's a very gorgeous color I feel like I could easily wear this on like a vacation look or just a nice summer afternoon look I would want the belt to really cinch me in and Maybe even be a little bit more visible. I don't know how you guys feel about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite disappointed about that. It's obviously not a big deal, as I said. But other than that, everything is 100%. My favorite thing about it, my favorite thing about the blazer suit is the shoulder pads. Oh, I, I love a good blazer. I really love a good blazer. So oh, it's a yes from me. Um, yeah. It is a yes from me. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, we have come to the end of the video. If you have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching all the way through the end. I really enjoy making these um, clothing hauls and I hope you enjoy watching them. I hope you enjoyed the pieces. Obviously, I don't have an opinion right now to like give a summary of the clothes because I'm yet to do the try on clip, but I hope it was a good haul. <laughs> Um, I hope there were a lot of hits rather than misses. But yeah, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye!